Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty in the Stamper. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. And let me go ahead, we've got one week until Mother's Day. And so I decided I was gonna make a card that uses the band together. I love this flower. And then I'm also going to be using uh, this um, detailed band from the detailed band dies. And it's gonna be very simple. It's not even going to be like Happy Mother's Day. I'm going to use this beautiful inside and out. So you can use it for anyone you want. You don't have to use it for Mother's Day, but it would be very sweet. And I chose to use Blueberry Bushel today. And the only things we're going to be using is ink. We're going to be doing some embossing. I've got some extra scraps here. What else do I have? I've got a blueberry bushel sheet cut right in half and then scored at four and a quarter so that I have my base. And then I have another piece cut just to give it some dimension and I only cut at an eighth of an inch shorter for each uh, on one side and then the other side. So that way I have a sixteenth of, sixteenth of an inch border. Very little detail, but it's the details. So let me go ahead. First thing we're going to do is, of course, we're just going to get this guy all folded up and burnished down. And guess what? That's all we've got on that part. We'll set this off to the side. Then we've got this part here. And I wanted to show you. It does not fit. Well, it fits, but barely, barely. So I'm just going to turn it a little bit. So if you have any extra pieces, you can just use it turned like that. And then I know this is going to fit in there very nicely. So I'm going to get out my blueberry bushel. You guys, if you wanted to get any of the in color, this is the last month you can do so. So make sure you get it. The Call Me Clover, Lovely Lipstick, Grapefruit Grove, and Pineapple Punch. Oh, I believe so. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Along with the Blueberry Bushel are retiring. So if you love those colors, you want to get your paper, your inks, your refills, all of that. And if you do so, just go to my online shop, jeanpersani.stampinup.net. Use this host code for the month of May. All right, let's get in here. This is just an extra piece of Whisper White that I had. This one is a thick piece, so I hope those detailed uh, bands work well. And I wanna make sure that I put it right about the right spot. Look how pretty that is. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna grab my big shot today. And that is because we have not been able to purchase the new uh, stamp and cutter, but we've seen it. So I cannot wait for it to come out. All right, there we go. Once it does come out, I will let you guys know. But for right now, it's going to be in the new catalog, but not purchasable yet. Okay, I'm going to run this guy just through here. And then I always just run it right backwards, just for good measure. And we'll take this guy out. Look at that. How pretty. off to the side here and this little piece came right out and I'm just gonna poke these out I also have the piece that you can run along you know that you attach to this but this is not too hard so I'm just gonna do it real quick here And then we're going to do a little bit of embossing. For some reason, 
I guess I did not put my embossing buddy away properly because I was looking all over for it and I just can't seem to find it. So. But these little detailed dies are so cute. Alright. There we go. <laughs> Two little more and then we're good to go. So while I'm doing this, let me just tell you if you are new to my channel, welcome. And all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and you will be considered a beauty of Beauty and the Stamper. I think that's fun. All right, I've got these pieces. I'm gonna set these off to the side with my other pieces that we're just making. And then I'm going to get this guy out, put the blueberry bushel away. I have to tell you, I love having my um, stuff right there. It's so nice. All right, so I'm going to put this just right here in this area. And at this point, I would put the embossing buddy, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out my Versamark. Nope, not that one. I got to get the one that's cleaner. The other one had pink speckles that I used the other day. It worked fine, but you know, all right, so I'm going to get my Versamark out, and if it needs more um, Versamark on there, I always get a refill. And for the Versamark, I just kind of roll it along, and then I roll it along this way as well. Okay. All right, so we're going to ink that up really well. Move this on over. And put that right down there. Let that Versamark get on over there. And I'm going to bring over my little Tupperware that I got from the Dollar Tree. And this is how I store my embossing powder. So I'm going to take that off. And you can see that great embossing line. Now if I um, left that, it would leave that little dark area. So I'm going to use the shimmer white because I want it to have white, but I also want it to be nice and have a pretty glow on there. I'm just going to lay, pour this on over there and it's going to stick in all of that wet uh, Versamark there. I'm a flicker. Some people don't like the flickers, but that's okay. You do what's best for you. There we go. If you see any empty spots, go ahead. Like, there might be a little bit of an empty spot there. So I'm going to just do it again because it's not going to hurt anybody at all. Yeah, it got a little bit more off or a little bit more on there. Yep, really nice. So I always put my embossing powder away. Otherwise, you never know. Once the gun comes out, it could go anywhere. So I'm bringing that gun out. But before I do that, I'm going to just go over 
after I have flicked as much as I want off of there, see if there's any more pieces on there. And if there is, just get it off with a brush. Sometimes it gets right in there. And I flick again. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Alrighty, I'm going to take that heat tool and turn that on. And I'm going to grab it and we're going to watch it take change in color. My favorite part, if you know me, you know that this is what got me involved in stamping so many years ago, is watching somebody demonstrate embossing powder. But back then we didn't have heat tools. Oh my gosh, we were standing it next to a an iron, trying to keep it as close as possible to a hot iron without burning the paper. Imagine how long ago that was. Whew. But you see that change? Oh, so cool. Love it. So now we've got that all done. And we're going to put everything together. Because that is going to be how easy it is. Now that I've got that part, I'm going to have this on here. I don't I think I'm going to put it down a little bit lower. Yep, right down there. Very pretty. Yeah, I think I think lower is better for me. Now I'm going to take my uh, snail adhesive and I'm going to get these edges here. Same on this side. And line it up exactly where I want it. Now you can either wrap it around like this which is what I'm going to do or you can just cut it off either way however you'd like and now we're going to take and we are just going to put a ton of these guys on there and I'm going to put them right on the, the band as well to hold those down And because we embossed it, it's got a little bit of um, warp to it. And so that is why we're putting so many of these. But they're not expensive. So you get hundreds of these in a little package. Okay. I'm going to take my take your pick tool. And we're just going to pop all these little guys off of there. And I love it because they all stay nice and neat. They don't get all over the place. Well, that one I pushed a little too hard. So then you just take them and you're able to throw them away when you're done. There we go. We're going to line that up again. It's only a small little eighth of an inch. I'm going to go here, or it's going to be a sixteenth of an inch when I put it down there. And as long as that's lined up, everything else should line up rather nicely. So we've got that real pretty card there. And then I'm going to take this one. We're going to pop this out of the banner. We'll just put three on there because we do want that to be nice as well. And then we're going to take
take that banner and just place it up there. But now it's popped so you can see a little bit of that blue popping through as well. And finally, we have to add some bling to it, correct? And I'm just going to use these leftover um, little blings here from the Noble Peacock. I'm going to put one right here, and I'm going to put one right there. And then I think I'm going to just put three here, just on the card, give it a little bit of, hey, what's going on there? Mm -hmm. There we go. And look at that beautiful card. Now you'll want to cut a piece of white on here, stick it in so you can write your sayings, or you could always put on here, like I'm going to be using this one that goes right in there that says, you're a great example to me. So I hope you like it. I certainly do. I love the shimmer that everything has. And it's just a quick and easy card. All right, beauty. <laughs> I was going to say, all right, beautiful, but same thing. Beauties, have a wonderful day. And please make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you like my cards. And I will talk to you later. Bye.